What? <laughs> Yo. She look like she sleep. She don't even look dead. What? Okay. <laughs> What's up y'all? It's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to play another episode of Unbraid. The last episode, my sis Erica got stabbed. I was about to say she got shot. She did not get shot. She got stabbed. But um, she's still in the hospital. We don't know who did it. But um, we did try and figure out if we could get her name removed off of the killer website. Can't do that. <laughs> the only person that can do that is the person who posted the job. But we don't know who posted the job, right? So that's a dead end. We can't find the IP address of the person. Uh, we tried to contact the the person who created the website, Ivana. We tried to contact her. She blocked me. She blocked me. I bared my heart and soul to her, and she blocked me. So, you know, she just rude. She's rude. A couple episodes ago, my best friend, my best friend, Andy, tried to get us to basically fake our death and you know fake our death and then collect the the hit money right because it's five thousand dollars to kill me so andy was like how about we fake your death and then split the money between the two of us and then that way you off the killer website and you got twenty five hundred dollars in your in your pocket and i was like mm, i don't know about that i don't really know we said that a couple episodes ago but now, um, <laughs> now it don't really seem like we gonna get any answers as to who did this, like who posted this on the site. So now we, we lean in towards the idea of faking our death. So Annie is about to pick me up from the hospital because remember I got stabbed. Uh, she's about to pick me up from the hospital and she's bringing makeup to make me look very pale. And I guess she gonna take pictures of me dying or pretending to be dead. She gonna make it seem like someone like put something in my IV or something to to actually kill me so that the algorithm can can figure out that I'm dead and then, you know, we can collect our money. We can collect the payday. Uh, I don't trust it. <laughs> I do not trust it. I don't trust anything of what Annie is saying. She might have something to do with it because it's the, she might have something to do with the original posting because I just, I don't understand it. <laughs> I, I don't, mm, I, something about this, this plan. I just, I don't trust, I don't trust, I don't trust it in my gut. You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't trust it. Let's hop back into it and see what, what's going to happen next. Okay, y'all, Hannah, good Lord. <laughs> Hannah has messaged me 70 times. Okay. Um. So here's Hannah in the group chat. I, I text Hannah and I said, you said we still need to talk. And Hannah said, Erica, thank God. How are you? Girl, don't be excited. Don't be acting excited after you left me at the bar to die. Don't, don't act like that. I said, I'm okay. She said, I'm really sorry I didn't go with you to the hospital that night. I was really scared and I wasn't thinking. I was being selfish. I'm really glad you're okay. And also I wanted to say, I'm sorry. I get it about the drugs. If it was Oscar, I'd have done exactly the same things as you. I said, I don't understand. It was Oscar, wasn't it? <laughs> and she said, oh, Ari, oh, Ari. I wanted to have this conversation in person that night at the bar. God, it's hard for me to say this. Those drugs that you found, they weren't Oscars. They were mine. I put question marks. She said, I know this is going to sound rich coming from me, but I'm having a really rough time. I know on the outside, it looks like I have everything, but Leonard is always working. He's here one night a week, if that. And meanwhile, I have to take care of everything and keep up with his work events and keep the house perfect because he hates to come home to mess and always make sure that Oscar is well behaved in front of him. I know we have money, but you have no idea how lonely I am. I said, you have the mom's group. She said, I know, I know, but it's not like I can talk about anything I'm going through on there. It was fine for a while, but it gets really, really hard. I have no one to talk to, Erica, no one. 
No one wants to hear how the poor little rich wife with the perfect husband and perfect life struggles to keep it all up. I get so anxious, I can't sleep, I can't eat. I use the pills to help me relax, and at some point, I just couldn't get through the day anymore without them. I know I probably have a problem. I didn't know if I could trust you. I was just so scared that you'd get Oscar into trouble. And it wasn't his fault, but I wasn't ready to admit they were mine. I feel so guilty all of the time. And I guess it's been a long time since anyone actually just told me how it is. I really missed that. I really missed you. You, me, Annie, we used to be so close. You haven't told anyone about this, have you? Erica, <laughs> I said, I don't know what to say. Why didn't you tell me all of this earlier? She said, I was ashamed. I didn't like being found out. And I know that nothing gets past you. I said that night at Sticks Bar, I want you to tell me the truth. Did you have anything to do with that? And she said, no, God, of course not. I was terrified for you. Did you think I had something to do with that? Do you think I'd be capable of something like that? You know me, Erica. Remember when we were all the, in the new mom support group together? My life may have changed after I had Oscar, but I haven't. I just want a friend again, that's all. If you can find it in yourself to forgive me, call me. I don't want to call you. <laughs> I do not want to call you. That woman is a druggie. That woman is a druggie and she was about to, oh, it makes sense, y'all. Because remember she, remember this message she sent me and I was like, she must be drunk because it's all kind of typos and stuff in here. She wasn't drunk. She was on drugs. She was a druggie. It makes sense now. <laughs> it makes sense now. But who tried to stab me there? We crossing her name off the list, but y'all, Annie is is at the top of my list now. I know I keep changing it every episode. <laughs> I know I keep changing my top suspect every episode, but Annie is top of the list now. Annie, you, you got to come on up, sis. Okay, Annie should be on her way. Annie should be on her way now to the hospital. I said, I just messaged Hannah. I don't think she has anything to do with me being listed on killer. Annie said, how come? What did she say? I said the drugs weren't Oscars, they were hers. That's why she was being super defensive. Apparently that night she just wanted to talk because she's having a really rough time. And Annie said, just because she's having a rough time doesn't mean it's not her though. Hannah's always been really good at hiding her feelings, her real feelings. I said, true, but why would she confess to something illegal and give me leverage if she was trying to have me killed? She said, I don't know. I still wouldn't put it past her. She's always been really good at getting people exactly where she wants them. I said, maybe. I don't know what to think about anything anymore. And he said, okay, don't panic though. I'm on the bus on my way to the hospital. We'll fake your death and so She on the bus? <laughs> I thought Annie was picking me up from the hospital. Annie don't have a car. None of these people have cars around here. So Annie just came to... Annie got on the bus to come to the hospital to visit me so that we can get back on the bus and go home. I thought you had a car, sis. Okay, you know what? Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't important. But, y'all, I thought she had a car. <laughs> Annie said, I'm on the bus on my way to the hospital. We'll fake your death and submit to killer, and that will buy us some time. Whoever it is, we can work it out. I said, I'm dreading leaving the hospital. And he said, we're going to get all the shots we need. And then I'm going to whisk you straight to a wonderful evening. You, me, Mickey, and Tyrell are going to have a great party tonight. Tyrell! And whoever it is, we'll find them. If the proof of death goes well, we'll even have money then. We can hire a private investigator and figure this out. And I said, thanks, Annie. She said, see you at five. <sighs> Yo... Annie has been pointing the finger at everybody. Annie has been pointing the finger at literally the entire cast of characters on my phone, except for her. Like, I mean, obviously she's not gonna, she's not gonna throw herself in as a suspect. Like she's not gonna announce herself as a suspect, but still like, Annie is quick to be like, why that person messaging you? She might've done it. Like she, like every person that I talk to about with Annie, Andy is like, do we know this person? Can we trust this person? We don't know if they put you on the website. Like, 
even Hugo, like we posted, we created that group chat with Hugo and Andy texted me on the side and was like, do we trust Hugo? Do we know who he is? Like, girl, why are you so suspicious? Why are you so suspicious of everybody? What's going on? I don't trust her no more. I don't trust her no more. I, I'm, I'm, I'm rocking with y'all. I don't really, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about Andy. She might be my friend, my friend. But I don't, I don't know, y'all. Okay, y'all. Here go to Annie and Hugo group chat. Hugo said, how's it going, ladies? Did Annie pick you up yet, Erica? I said, she's done a whole lot more than that. And Hugo put a question mark. I said, we've come up with a plan to shut down this whole killer thing for good. Annie's just gone to the bathroom. And when she gets back, we'll head back to mine for Mickey's birthday party. And I'm going to start putting this whole thing behind me. Hugo, Hugo said, oh, really? That sounds great. What's the plan? And then, y'all. What? <laughs> y'all. She looked like she sleep. She don't even look dead. What? Okay. <laughs> You're gonna say WCF. I said, we're faking my death so that the hit job on killer is claimed and that there'll be no incentive for anyone to try and kill me anymore. If it works, I'll be able to breathe easy for the first time in days. Hugo said, that's actually pretty smart. Is it? <laughs> is it pretty smart, Hugo? It's not smart. I said, let's hope it works. Hugo said, my fingers are crossed for you. I said, don't tell anyone, okay? He said, my lips are sealed. I'm really sorry we can't join you. I'm sure Hallie would have more fun with the boys than with me and grandma, but duty calls. And I said, family first. I'll make sure we save you both some cake. He said, just make sure you have a good time. You deserve it. And I said, I've got to make sure I put on a brave face for Mickey. And he said, not for much longer. <laughs> okay, okay. We we about to go with this plan of faking our death, y'all. Just <laughs> okay, okay. All right, y'all. Mickey got a story, so let's check this story out real quick. Hey guys, it's me and my birthday party, and I'm having so much fun. I got balloons up, and I have a big sign that says "Happy Birthday." And I think we're gonna have pepperoni pizza, which is my favorite. And we're gonna have soda and candy and presents all along the way. Honey, oh, no, 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 turn that off. Okay, you guys want to see party? Yeah. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh. So, <laughs> this is why the plan is stupid. This is exactly why the plan is stupid. You you faking your death. You supposed to be dead, sis. But you sitting in the, you, sit, you having a party. You having a birthday party, but you supposed to be dead. How that work? How do that work, girl? This is why this plan was stupid from the beginning. You know what? <laughs> I'm just sick of it. I am sick of it. And was that little blonde haired blue eyed boy supposed to be Tyrell? Was that supposed to be Tyrell? Y'all trying to tell me that that little boy was supposed to be Tyrell? All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Stop it. Stop it with this. Everybody and their mama is going to know that that woman is not dead because Mickey didn't spill the beans. Like, what is even. Clean sweep. I don't. <sighs> There are 13 jobs in your area. Okay. I'm supposed to be dead. <laughs> I'm supposed to be dead right now. So, even though I got a working phone and I'm posting on my son's Instagram stories. You know. <laughs> Slight work. All right, y'all. Here the mama group chat. Hannah said, Annie, did you manage to pick up Erica? Annie said, yeah, we're at hers now. We're having a little party for Mickey. Okay, so we not pretending to be dead. Look at this picture. <laughs> Look at this picture. Look at Tyrell. Look at Tyrell in the picture, y'all. That little boy is named Tyrell. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, happy birthday, Mickey. 
I said, hi, lady. Sorry, I didn't extend the invitation this time. Annie threw this together last minute. It's just been such a horrible few days. I needed to keep things simple. Joanna said, babe, don't even worry about it. We get it. Just glad you're able to have some nice things happening. Hannah said, well done, Annie. What a lovely thing to do. Joanna said, it's nice to see you looking well, Erica. I said, I'm just relieved to be home now. It's been a long week. Annie said, okay, girls, I'm going to have to drag her away from her phone and get back to the party now. Have a wonderful time. So y'all, why would we have a party? We having a party for Mickey, but where do the hospital, where do me faking my death in the hospital come from? Like, where does that play into this story? Because I thought I was faking my death. Okay, you know what? It's the, the de faking death thing is stupid anyway, but okay. So this is Annie. I text Annie and I said, I know you're on your way home still, but I wanted to say thank you so much for the party and for picking me up from the hospital. And thanks for helping with the other thing. I really, really hope it works. I don't know what I'd do without you. And Annie said, luckily for you, I'm not going anywhere. Just got home. I'll get online now. Okay, so they're just going to upload the thing to Killer. Like, they're just going to upload the video to Killer without doing any other without doing any other due diligence. Erica's just gonna keep living life with pretending she dead. Like, she's gonna be dead to the killer website, but everybody is gonna be able to clock that real easily to see that she's not actually dead. But okay, all right. <laughs> but I guess that's all they need is it just with a killer website so they can get the money, I guess. I don't, I don't know what this story is. <laughs> Know what's going on in this story okay y'all hold on so annie messaged and said i got hugo to show me how to do this and took notes it looked pretty scary and i don't want to mess it up i said i believe in you do you think we did a good enough job do you think we did a good enough job of the pictures and annie said i was just looking through the pictures i'd say so okay her eyes are open yeah, she don't, she don't look dead. <laughs> she does not look dead. I said, is that the best pick? And then she messaged. This one's just for us. <laughs> okay. I said, be careful. Don't send that one by mistake. And he said, don't worry. It's never leaving my cell. I said, still, we don't want to take any risk. Right now, the only people who know we're doing this are you, me, and Hugo. And she said, okay, I'll delete it so we don't have to worry. I said, thanks, Annie. And then she said, I'm setting up an anonymous account for both of us, and I'll put your number as a secondary number. It should send you notifications when I upload anything. I said, God, I'm so tense right now. She said, you and me both, babe. Okay, it's done. Okay, they submit it. We aim to verify your submission within 12 hours. Payment is issued within 24 hours after verification. I said, I still can't believe we're doing this. I'm so effing nervous. This is crazy, isn't it? And he said, babe, this whole thing is crazy. But if it works, we'll both get $2,500. And I really need the money right now. And, and I said, God, I wasn't even thinking about the money. So look, I mean, I wasn't thinking about the money either. Okay, killer notifications is messaging me. They said, your proof of death has been submitted. We'll verify with, within 12 hours. Payment is issued within 24 hours. If your submission fails verification, your account will be permanently frozen and the job listing will be extended. <laughs> this message has been automatically generated. Please do not reply. Okay, so if you tell them to lie, killer keep the posting up for longer. Okay, so I messaged Andy back and I said, did you just get the message from Killer? I didn't know there were penalties, did you? And he said, no. And I said, shoot, shoot, shoot. I told y'all this was a terrible idea. If it was me, if it was suggestions, I would tell y'all, no, don't do this. And he said, it's okay, maybe it will be fine. Maybe it will just be fine. No, it's not, Annie. No, it's not. It will not be just fine. The pictures look like the real thing. No, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. Y'all, this is such a bad idea. <laughs> like, who? This is such a bad idea. It's a terrible idea. I said, can we cancel it? <laughs> Probably not. Right. Eddie said, it doesn't look like it. This is terrible. Y'all are terrible people. I said, what are we going to do? Y'all. <laughs> 
what are y'all gonna do? Because, the... whoa, chow. <laughs> this is the ghetto. This is the ghetto. Is Are they gonna be okay? <laughs> are they gonna be okay? All signs are pointing to no. <laughs> All signs are pointing to no, but you know, you know what? I, I can't, I don't know. I, don't, <laughs> I do not have the answers. I do not have the answers no more. This is wild. <laughs> this is wild.